Hi guys, it's Leslie here with Jimra. Welcome to my yoga Lotties class. So this is going to be a combination of yoga flow and Pilates movements. You won't need any equipment, just a yoga mat and yourselves. We're going to get started in a comfortable seat today. So go ahead and start uh, sitting on your shins with a nice tall spine. You can take the hands into your lap, palms face down, or you can have palms face up, whichever feels best for you. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears, close the eyes, and just take a moment here to settle in, to land on your mat and arrive in your practice space. One cleansing breath to begin. Slow, deep inhale, fill up the lungs. Open mouth, exhale, let go. Softly blink the eyes open and start to connect to your breath. Make your inhales longer and your exhales longer. Come into Ujjayi, breathing slightly constrict the muscles in the back of the throat. Breathe deeply in and out through the nose. And we'll just start linking the movements with breath, starting nice and simple. As you inhale, take the arms all the way up and as you exhale, twist to your left. Take that right hand to the left knee gaze over the left shoulder and then as you inhale both arms back up exhale twist to the other side right hand to the base of spine left hand to that right knee keep going so we're just linking the movement with breath nice and simple inhale lengthen exhale twist inhale and exhale every time you inhale grow your spine a little bit taller inhale exhale one more center exhale twist Inhale, center, exhale, twist. This time, inhale to center, and as you exhale, plant the palms down and place, find yourself in a tabletop position. Shoulders over wrists, knees in line with your hips. Cat cow, inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine, take the gaze up. Exhale, round and press the mat away. Two more times, inhale, drop the belly, arch, look up. Exhale, round and press the mat away. One more time, inhale and exhale inhale to a neutral spine as you exhale take your right forearm parallel to the top of the mat and plant your left hand down so that you have a soft bend in your left elbow starting with a little bit of pilates warm-up for the legs so take the left leg back point your toes as you inhale lift the left leg up as high as you can get it and then exhale back down we're doing a total of 10 so lift and down eight seven six five as high as you can four three two one lift the leg as high as you can and now we'll just bend extend lower and lift bend extend lower and lift for eight extend lower and lift for seven, extend, lower, and lift. For six, lower, lift, five, lower, lift, four, lower, lift, last three, lower, lift, last two, lower, lift, last one, lower, and lift now bend and bring that left knee in right next to your right a variation of fire hydrant here bend the left take the left knee out straighten the leg tap and lift bend and lower nine more lift extend bend and lower eight extend bend lower bend and lower seven six Five, four, last three, lift, extend, lower, lift, two, one, good job. Now take that left leg all the way back, plant the left toes down. Come up into a plank pose. So go ahead and come into a high plank, top of a push-up. Spread the fingers wide on the mat, knit your ribs together. Curl your tailbone under slightly. 
press the mat away. Hold and breathe for 10, 9, focus on the breath, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lower in one piece or knees, chest, and chin all the way down onto your belly. Good job. Untuck the toes. Press the tops of the feet down into the mat. Feet a little bit wider than your hips. Take your fingertips outside of the mat. Belly in as you inhale, peel your chest up and then exhale, go down. We'll take nine more, peel the chest and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, really nice. Now peel your chest up and hold it. Really focus on pressing the tops of the feet down, keeping the belly in and up. Those legs should be nice and engaged. See if you can press into the fingertips, lift the chest up a little bit higher. Hold it and breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring the chest down. This time take the hands underneath the shoulders and lift your chest up for a baby cobra. Lift up your right leg, bend the right knee, extend the leg, put it back down. We'll do the same thing with the left. Lift, bend, extend, and lower. Five, four more each side. Bend, extend, and lower. Bend, extend, and lower. Last three, right, bend, extend, and lower left. Bend, extend, and lower. Last two, right, bend, extend, and lower left, lift, bend, extend, and lower, last one, extend, and lower, left, bend, extend, and lower. Slowly bring the chest all the way back down onto the mat. Take a child's pose, stretch out your spine, hips back. Child's pose is always available to you, no worries. Listen to your body, most important thing. I'm gonna flip so you can see me, but just rise up when you're ready to a tabletop pose. And you can take a few rounds of cat-cow to reset your spine. Inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine. Exhale, round, two more times, inhale. Exhale, one more, inhale. And exhale. Back to a neutral spine. This time it's the left forearm that comes parallel to the top of the mat and the right hand is underneath your right shoulder but you will have a soft bend in that right elbow. Take your right leg back, point your toes. We start with a straight leg lifting and lowering. So here we go, lift and lower as high as you can for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now it's a lift, bend, extend, and lower. For nine, bend, extend, and lower. For eight, bend, extend, and lower. Seven, bend, extend, and lower. Six, bend, extend, and lower. Five, bend, extend, and lower. Four, bend, extend, and lower. Last three, bend, extend, and lower. Last two, lift, bend, extend, and lower. Last one, lift, bend, extend, and lower. Now bend and bring it right in next to that left foot, setting up for the fire hydrant variation. So the left knee, excuse me. Lift the right leg, straighten the leg, tap, lift, bend, and lower. Two, extend, tap, lift, bend and lower. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, Last one. 
Great job. Take the right toes to the back of the mat. Take your right hand under right shoulder, left hand under left shoulder. Come into a high plank pose, top of a push-up. Belly in and up. This time, we'll come into a side plank. So plant that left hand, stack your feet, roll open, side plank, reach that right arm all the way up to the sky. Stretch the right arm up and over the ear as you lift the hips. Keep the belly tight. Now, if you need to modify, you can always come into the left knee, bring it down on the mat. Otherwise, lift the hips higher, stack your feet. Breathe and hold. Take a breath in. As you exhale, swim the right arm in a rainbow and bring it all the way down by the side of the body and then inhale, reach it all the way back up and over. We're doing nine more. Exhale down, inhale up. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Take a wild thing, step the right toes behind you, lift the hips and stretch just briefly. And then we'll come back through plank pose and right into the other side. I'll flip so you can see me. You just plant that right hand, roll open, stack your feet or bring the right knee down to modify. Left arm up to the sky, stretch it over the ear, really press the mat away with that right hand and lift those hips. Take a breath in as you exhale, swim the arm down. Inhale, reach and stretch. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, last one, and then wild thing. Step the left toes behind you, really let those hips stretch, get that nice back bend. And then come back to plank pose, lift the hips up and back to a downward facing dog. Go ahead and pedal out your dog a little bit, bend the right knee, bend the left knee, get some movement going. And then settle in, feet about hips with distance apart, hands shoulder width distance apart, navel to your spine, lengthen tailbone to ceiling, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, walk the hands to the back of the mat. Inhale, roll up to stand nice and slow, one vertebra at a time. As you exhale, hollow the belly, roll your spine down, and as you inhale, walk it out to a plank. Lift up your right leg, tap the right knee to your left tricep, back to plank left leg up tap it back to plank walk the hands back to meet the feet inhale roll up to stand and we'll take that two more times exhale hollow the belly roll down inhale walk it out to plank right leg inhale exhale tap across inhale back exhale down left leg up inhale exhale tap inhale back exhale down Take a breath in, exhale down dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand and we'll take one more round. Hollow the belly, roll down. Walk it out to your plank. Right leg up, tap and back. Left leg up, tap and back. Lift the hips, downward facing dog. Walk the hands back to meet the feet. Roll up to stand, nice job. Now we'll meet in down dog, so hollow the belly, roll down, and walk it out, downward facing dog. Take a breath in, and take a breath out. Next inhale, rise high on the toes, two steps or jump, top of the mat, however you would like to get to the top of the mat. Halfway lift, lengthen the spine, fold over the legs as you exhale. Rise to stand, sweep the arms up, starting into our sun salutation, Surya Namaskar A, arms by the side. So today, we'll rise onto the balls of the feet. Inhale, lift onto the balls of the feet, arms up, exhale back down. Squeeze those inner thighs. We'll take two more, inhale, lift, exhale down. One more, inhale, lift, exhale down. This time, keep the heels planted, sweep the arms up, and then swan dive forward, Uttanasana. 
Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back to plank. Your choice, you can either lower halfway or knees, chest, and chin. Back bend. Downward facing dog. So you're either moving through a modified vinyasa or chaturanga to upward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. When your exhale is complete, rise high on the toes and take two steps. Or you can hop top of the mat, half lift at the top, forward fold over the legs. Sweep the arms up, inhale, reach up. Exhale, arms down, and we're taking two more rounds. So starting with lifting onto the balls of the feet, sweeping the arms over the head. Inhale and exhale. Two, exhale, three, Exhale, now heel stay planted, reach up, and then swan dive forward, exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. You can step back or jump back, your choice. Moving through, knees, chest, and chin if you need modification to the cobra or the upward facing dog. Lifting the hips up and back to a downward facing dog. One breath in, one breath out. When your exhale is complete, rise high on the toes, two steps, or you can jump top of the mat, half lift, fold, exhale, rise as you inhale, sweep the arms up, arms by the sides, last round, sun A, rising onto the balls of the feet, inhale, exhale down, three more, two more, excuse me, inhale, exhale down, one more, inhale, exhale down, heels stay planted, sweep the arms up, Swan dive forward, exhale, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, inhale. Your choice, if you do choose to jump back for any reason, make sure you land in Chaturanga with bent elbows. Back bend on the inhale, down dog on the exhale. Breath in and a breath out. Finish your exhale, then inhale, rise high on the toes. Two steps or jump, however you want to get to the top of the mat. Half lift at the top. Forward fold as you exhale. Sweep the arms all the way up. Inhale, and then exhale, arms by the sides. Great job. Now take your feet hips width distance apart. Weight is in the heels, pull your belly in tight. Arms up, inhale, and as you exhale, sit into this variation of Utkatasana chair pose. And we'll just start to pulse here, so it's a little wider base in your chair. Just little pulses up and down, weight is in the heels, belly in and up, breath is steady and smooth. We're pulsing for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pause, stay low, inhale. As you exhale, twist, reach that right arm back, left arm forward. Inhale back to center, exhale, twist, reach the left arm back. Two more each side, inhale up, exhale twist, stay low in the legs. Inhale up, exhale twist. One more, inhale up, exhale twist right. Inhale up, exhale twist left. Inhale up, and then exhale. I want you to sit all the way down, use those legs, and come into a boat pose, Navasana. Now close your legs together, and if you can, straighten the legs. From boat pose, we're sliding the hands down the legs and coming into corkscrew. So hands by your hips for your support, head and shoulders up if you can. Take your legs, circle them to the right, center, legs to the left, and center. Really press that lower back down. Squeeze the legs nice and tight. Circle, circle. Keep going. We're going to be here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Make sure you finish both rounds and then hug your right or grab your hand, your right shin from behind. I want you to keep the head and shoulders up. That's what I'm saying. Don't rest yet. We're coming into single straight leg stretch. So grab the right shin from behind and then left leg switching out left and right. Don't let the upper body move. If you can, see if you can get the head and shoulders a little higher off of the mat. Keep going right, left, right, and left. Keep going, breathing is steady. We're here for 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, rest. Lower the head and shoulders down. Great job. Let's do the roll up. So go ahead and take the left leg long on the mat. I just have to scoot back so that I am not in the dirt. Left leg long on the mat, right leg long on the mat. Flex both feet. Take the arms up to the sky, palms face the top of the mat. As you inhale, curl the head and shoulders up. As you exhale, reach and dive for the toes. Come all the way up, get full extension of the spine. Inhale, roll back down one vertebra at a time. Exhale, those arms go back up. We'll take two more rounds. Inhale, curl. Exhale, reach, dive, extend. Inhale, roll back down. Exhale, the arms go up. One more, inhale, curl. Exhale, reach and dive. Inhale, roll back down. Exhale, the arms go back up. This time a half round, inhale, curl. Exhale, reach, dive, extend. Pull yourself up to a tall spine. Take your feet a little bit less than the width of the mat. Feet flex, legs engaged and strong. Belly in, tall spine, shoulders long down the back. Interlock all 10 fingers behind your head. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, twist to the right. Inhale back to center, exhale, twist to the left. Center, right, center, and left. Three more, center, right, center, left. Two more, center, right, center, left. One more, center, right, center, left. Back to center, reach both arms forward and then close your legs together. Point your toes, hollow the belly and come into a little C curve in your spine here. It's not little, it's a C curve. And you'll feel your abdominals working. Take the arms into a prayer position, the hands into a prayer position, excuse me, thumbs crossed. Inhale here as you exhale, tap the fingertips to the right. Inhale, center, exhale, tap left. Keep going, tap it right. Center, tap it left. Center, right, left. Squeeze those legs. Center, left, center. Right, left, right, left, right, left. One more right, left. Good job, pull yourself up to a tall spine. Release the prayer hands. Hands by your hips, scoot yourself forward a little bit, but hug the knees and start to rock up and back on the spine until you can gain enough momentum to rock back into a chair pose at the top of the mat. Regular chair if you can, feet together, and we pulse here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Fold forward, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, lengthen your spine. Step back to a plank pose, top of a push-up. Get really nice and strong in your plank, belly tight, lift up that right leg so you're in a three-limbed plank and we'll take little pulses here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down dog split, lift the right leg high to the sky and as you exhale, walk the hands to the back of the mat. Standing splits at the back of the mat. So you can keep your hands down. If you want to add on to your challenge, you can grab that left ankle with one or both hands. It is your choice. Breathe, keep lifting that right leg up, 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 up. And then as you exhale, hollow the belly. Stay standing on that left foot. Hands in prayer, start to bring that right knee into your chest and stand all the way up. Hands in prayer, right knee to the chest. Breathe. If you can, float the arms forward and we'll take 10 toe taps here. So tapping down and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good job. Float the leg forward, step it to the middle of the mat. Arms up as you pull the left knee into the chest and as you exhale, flex that left foot, hands in prayer, come into a figure four. So you're in figure four at the middle of your mat. Sit low in that right leg and angle your left toes to the left and we'll pulse here for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up with the left knee into your chest. Straighten the left leg. Step the left foot forward. Hinge forward into warrior three with the hands in prayer at your heart center. Keep the belly drawing in and up. Stay with your breath. Hold it and breathe for five, four, three, two. Listen on one, bend your left knee, land your right toes down and that right knee comes down. Keep the hands in prayer at your heart. So you're coming into a lunge here, standing on the back knee. Make sure left knee is tracking right over your left ankle. Again, take those arms forward and we're just lifting that right knee up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, and tap. For three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're doing 15, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15. Good job. Now straighten that right leg fully. You might need to scoot it back a little bit and then twist. Reach that left arm all the way back. So you're coming into a lunge twist here. Breathing is steady and smooth. Really get extension through those arms and then take the hands behind the head. Inhale as you exhale. Tap the right knee all the way down and then inhale if you can straighten both legs. Exhale tap. Inhale, straighten. We're just doing five of these. Exhale, tap. Inhale, straighten. Three more. Exhale, tap. Inhale, up. Two more. Exhale, tap. Inhale, up. One more. Exhale, tap. Inhale, up. Take those arms back wide. Back to your lunge. If it feels nice, you can reach back and revolve your twist. Steady with the breath. Back to center if you took the revolve and then windmill all the way open to a reverse triangle. So you'll windmill the arms, you'll straighten that left leg, reach up and back, pause there. I'm gonna flip so you can see me. Walk your fingertips down that right leg. The left leg is straight and strong. And then into warrior two, bend that left knee deeply. Come into warrior two. Great job everyone, press into the outer edge of that right foot. Breathing is steady, so a little bit of movement to breath here. Take a big inhale, tall spine. As you exhale, hands in prayer, we're gonna take a side lunge to the back of the mat. So you'll bend, you'll angle your right toes right and bend that right knee as deeply as you can. Flex your left foot. Back to the warrior two. We're doing that, we're doing that four more times. So exhale, side lunge to the right. Inhale back, warrior two. Three more, exhale. Inhale, two more, exhale, inhale, using those legs, exhale, inhale, pause here and then reverse the warrior, reach up and back, keep that deep bend in the left knee and then into extended side angle as you exhale, left forearm to left knee, right bicep up and over the ear. This is a modification. If it feels great, you stay. If you want a little bit more, you can take that left hand and plant it outside of the left foot and get full extended side angle. Otherwise, you're welcome to just stay right here. If you wanna add on some core work, you can float the left arm forward. We're here for five, four, three. Press into that back leg, two, one. Star pose, inhale, straighten the leg, turn the toes in, heels out, hands to hips. As you exhale, fold forward, catch your big toes with your peace sign fingers, half lift length in your spine, and then fold over the legs. Pull on your toes, lengthen, let the head and the neck be heavy, shoulders away from the ears. Hands to the mat, halfway lift, inhale, lengthen your spine. As you exhale, walk back, to the top of the mat, bend your left knee and come into a runner's lunge. Lengthen your heart forward, heel toe the left foot all the way to the, to the left edge of your mat so you're in a lizard lunge. Plant the palms down, belly in, lengthen your heart forward and then come down onto your forearms here. 
Press the forearms down. Don't put that back knee down. Keep the belly tight and keep that back leg engaged and strong. And then shift forward and back for five, four, three, two, one. Step back, forearm plank. Meet me in a forearm plank. Don't interlock your hands. Try to have your uh, forearms look like the number 11. Hips should be about in line with the shoulders. Keep that belly nice and tight. Bring your big toes to touch. Lift up your right leg. Inhale as you exhale. Tap it outside of the left leg. All the way back up. Tap and lift. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, one. Right foot down, right into the left side. Let's do it. Lift it up, tap, and lift. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big toes back together. Now walk your forearms back. Dolphin pose, dolphin pose. So you're on your forearms in a downward facing dog. Press the forearms down, belly in. Hold it and breathe for 10. Nine, you got it. Eight, seven, gaze forward. Six, five, four, three, two. Listen, on one, if you can, I want you to press into those hands and lift right into your downward facing dog. Walk the hands to the back of the mat. Ragdoll, grab the opposite elbows and just let the upper body hang. Sway side to side. Breathe. And then when you're ready, release the hands to the mat. Walk it out, downward facing dog. I'm just gonna flip to the other side. We'll be doing that same flow on the other side. So from downward facing dog, roll forward into a plank pose. Lift up that left leg, little pulses. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. To down dog split, left leg high, walk the hands to the back of the mat, standing split. Get your upper body as close as you can to that right leg. Keep the left leg engaged, no floppy legs. So notice if the leg is like this or really extending through the leg. Balance challenge if you want it. Grab the right ankle with one or both hands, your choice. Keep the belly pulling in and up. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, soften that right knee, pull the left knee into the chest and come all the way up to stand, balanced on that right foot. Hands in prayer at your heart, get your balance and then if you can, float the arms forward. 10 toe taps with the left toes, down and up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Straighten the left leg, step the left foot to the middle of the mat. Right knee into chest, hands in prayer, flex the right foot, cross it over your left knee, figure four. So the right ankle is over the left knee. And then little pulses here. Stay low in that left leg, pulsing for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand all the way up, right knee into your chest, straighten the right leg, step forward, hinge into warrior three, upper body tilts forward, keep that left hip parallel to the mat, hold and balance, breathing for five, four, three, two, one, bend your right knee, step the left foot back, and then bring that left knee down and set up for your lunge. Make sure that right knee is tracking right over the right ankle. Belly stays pulling in and up, shoulders long down the back. Float those arms forward. We lift the left knee up an inch, down an inch. Little lift, little lower. For 14, 13, 12, 
11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good job. Now straighten the leg fully and come into a twist. Start to reach that right arm back. Really open up your chest here. Extend through both sets of fingertips. Shoulders and hips stacked, belly in. Press into the ball of that back foot. Then take the hands behind the head and tap the back knee down and then straighten both legs if you can all the way up, all the way down all the way up just three more all the way down all the way up two more all the way down all the way up one more all the way down all the way up and then back to your lunge take the arms wide if you want to and it feels nice you can revolve come back to center reverse your triangle so reach all the way up and back, straighten that right leg, walk the left fingertips down that left leg. Reverse your triangle. Breathing is steady. To warrior two, arms straight, bend that right knee deeply. Make sure you've got your nice wide stance. Stay with the breath, smooth in and out through the nose. So we're setting up to do the side lunge breath to movement sequence again. So take an inhale here. As you exhale, you'll take a side lunge to the back of the mat, bending that right knee deeply, angling the left toes back. And then using those legs, inhale back to warrior two. Four more. Exhale, side lunge. Inhale up. Three more. Exhale. Inhale. Two more. Exhale, inhale, one more, exhale, inhale. Stay for the exhale, the inhale is a reverse warrior. Reach up and back, stretch. Exhale, come into extended side angle, right forearm to right knee, left arm up and over the ear. Remember, you've got options, you can stay right here. If you are staying with the modification, don't lean, don't be floppy, belly tight extension of the left arm over the ear, you're really using your core strength here. If you wanna add on, you can float the left arm forward or if you need more stretch, right hand outside of the right foot. We're here for five, four, three, belly in two, press into that back leg. One, reverse the warrior one more time, inhale. Back to warrior two, exhale, and then into star pose. Straighten the legs, toes in, heels out. Hands to hips, lift the chest, look up. Forward fold as you exhale. This time, grab the outsides of the feet if you can and pull to lengthen the spine. Slowing down the breath. Last exhale. Hands to the mat, take a half lift, inhale. As you exhale, walk your hands back to the top of the mat, bend your right knee, runner's lunge. Lengthen your heart forward and then heel toe that right foot to the right edge of the mat, a lizard lunge. Make sure that back leg stays active and strong and you still got the belly pulling in and up. And then come down onto your forearms. Forearm plank is next. So, oh sorry, before we take forearm plank, I want you to just take a moment to shift forward and back. And don't interlock the forearms, keep the forearms separate. Shift forward and back, forward and back. Five, four, three, two, one. Now step back, forearm plank. Get yourself in place, belly tight. Hold it and breathe or you can walk back and forth from forearm plank to plank. So right hand, left hand, left forearm, right forearm, left hand, right hand, right forearm, right forearm. Your choice or hold forearm plank. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Meet me in a forearm plank and then hips down to Sphinx Pose. Great job, breathe here. Press those forearms down. If you need a little more stretch, you can take the hands to the corners of the mat and bring the chest even higher for Seal Pose. Great, good work everyone. Slowly bring the chest all the way down. Bring your big toes to touch unless you have lower back issues. You can have a little bit of space between the feet. Belly tight, take the arms wide like airplane wings. Lift everything up for Salavasana Locust Pose. Keep the gaze down so the neck stays nice and long. Lift higher if you can. Hold it for 10. Breathe nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Slowly release, take the left ear to the mat and the gaze right, pause, breathe, arms by the sides. One more back bend here on our stomachs, chin forward, bend your knees, grab the tops of the feet for Don Yaras and a floor bow. Bring your knees a little closer together. You don't want them to go wider than your hips and they will separate a little bit when you start to kick. Pull belly in and start to kick, nice and slow. Let the kick open the chest and the shoulders. Breathe, maybe take the gaze back if you're very flexible. Hold it for five, four, three, two, one. Slowly come down. Child's pose to rest. Knees wide, hips back, child's pose. From child's pose, rise into a tabletop pose. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up and back to downward facing dog, then step or jump the feet outside of the hands, Malasana squat. So a wide base squat at the top of the mat. Hands in prayer at your heart center, palms pressing, plant the left hand, reach, stretch the right arm up, back to center, right hand plants, reach and twist, back to center, two more times, left hand twist, center, right, twist, center. One more, each side. Pause and center, Malasana, take a breath in, and then as you exhale, walk the fingertips back behind you and sit your hips all the way down onto your mat. Scoot yourself all the way back so that you can straighten the legs, and then take your hands behind you, fingertips facing forward. Zip up your legs, point your toes, lift up your hips. Keep that belly pulling in and up. Press the mat away. If you can, I want you to lift up that right leg, Lower the right leg, 10 times, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, right into it, let's go 10 times. Lift and lower, nine, eight, belly in, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job, lower those hips back down. Woo, that was a lot, good job. Lie down onto your back, legs into tabletop position. Let's take three rounds of teaser. So take the arms up and over the head, inhale. As you exhale, pull yourself up to teaser, straight arms parallel to the legs. Inhale, back down, two more. Exhale, come up, inhale, back down. One more, exhale, come up, inhale, back down, and then hands down, exhale, feet down onto the mat. Lift up your hips, Pilates bridge, inhale, Exhale, curl the spine back down. So Pilates bridge, you can still see your knees. Belly in, lift, curl the spine back down. One more, lift the hips, curl the spine back down. And now we'll add on. Lift up your hips to the Pilates bridge. 
Take your right leg to a high diagonal. Bend the right knee, pull it in, extend the leg, lower it and lift. Nine more, bend, extend, lower and lift. Eight, lower and lift. Seven, keep pressing that left foot down, lower and lift. Belly tight, six, lower and lift. Five, lower and lift. Four, lower and lift for three, Lower and lift, two more. Lower and lift, last one. Extend, lower and lift. Now keep the hips lifted, place that right foot down. Keep the hips up if you can, belly tight. Let's do that left side, here we go. Bend, extend, lower and lift. Nine, lower and lift. Eight, lower and lift. Seven, lower and lift. Six, lower and lift. For five, lower and lift. Four, lower and lift. Last three, lower and lift. Last two, lower and lift. Last one, lower and lift. Left foot down, scoop the belly, roll your spine back down, nice and slow. Take the soles of the feet together and the knees wide in Supta Baddha Konasana. Slow down the breath, pause to breathe here. Slow down, back to Ujjayi breath like we did at the beginning of the class. And then gently close your knees together, hug your knees into a chest, into your chest, excuse me. Rock side to side a few times. And then we'll take Gomukhasana legs here for a hip opener. So take your right knee, cross it over your left. Grab onto the tops of your feet like you're riding a bicycle. Ideally, you want knee to knee and the feet in line with your knees and gently pull the feet in. If that feels like too much, you can always just take a figure four on your back. Last exhale here, keep your knees crossed. Just release the grip on the feet. Keep that right knee over the left and we'll come into a twist with the kind of eagle legs. So you can sort of eagle wrap your legs and just let the knees drop over to the left and you can maybe gaze right. Come back to center, use your core, and then switch out your legs. So the left knee on top of the right. Go Mukhasana, grab the tops of the feet like you're riding a bicycle. So a lot of people will do this thing where they crumple. You want your feet in line with the knees if you can. Again, if this feels like too much for your outer hip, you can take figure four on your back, no problem. Slowly release the grip on the feet. Keep your knees, uh, your left knee crossed and just shift the knees over to the right. Gaze left, if you can. Last exhale this side. Use those belly muscles, pull your knees back to center, unwind your knees, hug knees to chest. You can take a happy baby here, thread your arms inside of your legs, grab the outer edges of the feet, rock side to side a few times. Maybe play around with straightening one leg, straightening the other leg, whatever feels good here. And then when you're ready, making your way into your final savasana, so bring the legs long on the mat, heels together, toes apart, let the arms rest by the sides of the body, palms face up. Release any control over your breath and just take rest. Let the body receive all of that hard work.
If Savasana is where you need to remain, feel free to just stay here and enjoy your rest. If you'd like to finish seated, you can start to bring little bits of movement back into your body. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. You can rock the head side to side a few times. Whatever feels best for you here, maybe stretch the arms over the head. And we will meet in a comfortable seat. However you would like to get there, you can roll to right or left. You can rock up, whatever you would like to do. You can sit cross-legged or you can sit on your shins, just like we did at the beginning of the class. And just take a moment here in seated stillness to close the eyes down. A moment to observe the body and the breath and the mind. Hands in prayer at your heart center, bow the chin to chest, honoring your body and your practice today. Thank you for joining me. Namaste.